Today on our shed build we're going to look at putting some extra pieces in and we're going to lift it up out of the dirt so we can start measuring it up for the footings. Now the extra pieces that we're going to put in, they're going to be put in here, here, on each side of those and there and there. Now that is going to give me a bit of extra room for when I screw the top down. Um, it'll give me that if I go just with this one plank here, um, I'm going to be right on the end of my sleeper which will more than likely split out. So if I put another piece here like this one, straight through the center there, um, that'll give me a bit more room to come back on the sleeper and, and to screw in down this way and I'll pick up both pieces of wood. So if I put a line on there about, about there somewhere I can screw in like this and pick up both those bits of wood. Now we've worked out, you can see here it's been raining and I'm getting a lot of damp up into this wood here. Now I know this is H4 treated but um, I just don't like the fact that it's every time it's rain it's going to get wet, it's going to get wet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift it up out of the ground so it's at least off the ground and then I'm going to measure up um, and make some uh, stirrups and some footings. Now you can see here we've had a tremendous amount of rain the last month and you can see the the blocks that I've put in there, they've, they've sunk down that far. This is this is the area here where we dug the tree out. So that's how much it's slumped. So I want to get that up out of the ground and uh, we'll go from there. So essentially we're going to just lift this frame up with the car jacks. I've got two here. So this is the, this is about the only corner I can get under. So we're pretty much going to just lift it up just so that the other end is out of the dirt by about whatever the thickness this brick is. It looks like about, I don't know, 60 mil or something like that, which is a bit over two inches. Um, so we're just going to lift this frame up. So I'll probably lift it a little bit higher this end so that I can get packers in down there and then I'll have a bit of room uh, to get underneath uh, to put the packers over that side as well. So we'll just start here and I'll just go around the around the frame and put the packers in. And we're gonna pretty much just do that all the way around. So I'll get around and do that now. Alright, I've had to resort to plan B. I've uh, pulled out my machine machine jack which is essentially a a leg that fits over the jack and uh, when you pump it it just means that I've got a, a smaller surface area uh, to get underneath things like this is his this is the end that's laying on the ground so there is a there's a small gap underneath here which which this will fit under so um, that's exactly what I made it for so I can lift machines up and stuff like that so um, I'll show you how it works. You can see that end coming up. Alright, so that now allows me to if if I was doing a machine, I'd, be, I'd put a packer underneath there and then I'd pack this back up and then jack it up a bit more or whatever to get the skates under. So, um, so yeah, I'll put, I'll put a packer underneath there now and then I'll move to this other end. Alright, so that's, uh, that's what I've resorted to on that one. We've got all our blocks in now. We've got an extra block here and here and here. Right, so we've got blocks all the way around. I've positioned my, my pieces ready to screw up. Now I've got, I had to cut, well because, because we put these pieces in, at the end of the day, 
looking back on it on hindsight, we should have put uh, full lengths in each bit where we put where we put these blocks in. But you know, so anyway, this one's going to be a full piece because we're going to put it onto this side. Oh, I'm going to put it onto this side, and the other ones are just going to slot into the grooves as they are. You know, that one there is going to be the same thing. We'll do it on this side, so we use a full piece. Now, all these all these pieces that I cut, they've all been treated with that green stuff. Um, I've already done that. I did that the other day. So, uh, yeah, we're just going to pretty much clamp these up, get them level, get them all level. So, so our um, top when our top deck goes on, uh, we don't have any ups or downs, or as least as possible. I know there's one here, but um, as least as possible, and. Um, and we'll screw them on. Now we're going to screw them once again. We're going to screw them like angled, okay? Uh, then that way uh, they're not going to just pull out. All right, so let's crack on and, and get these screwed on. Now that's that part of the build complete. So we've got all our what we call it, doubles. Got all our doubles on now. There's our center, big thick piece now there now these um, what I what I did was uh, these uh, full length pieces these ones in the center in the centers of these two I ended up uh, I screwed in the ends as well just to give it a bit more stability and to make it part of the frame uh, other than that I just uh, clamped it together like I said before so uh, this will now give me a chance to measure up uh, the heights the obviously there's all different varying heights so I've got to measure up all the different heights for making some stirrups so I can dig some holes and put some concrete in there and have the stirrups hold it up off the ground uh, not these blocks or bricks so if you're enjoying what we're doing here at DM Engineering click that subscribe button down there and we'll see you next video